Yesterday, I brought out a video and I'm so happy because it got such amazing feedback. So thank you so, so much for all the nice comments, the likes, just, it was amazing. It was really, really nice. But I want to just quickly say one thing. I think a lot of people thought it was a seven day challenge in the sense that I was going to be uploading a new video on that topic for seven days. That's not what the video was. The video in itself was a seven day challenge. That video was day one and day two. And in part two, I will be covering days three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so that's how the structure of that video is going to be. Well, I thought in the meantime, I would do a behind the scenes of how I set up my Shopify store, like I did in that video, step by step, so that everyone could follow along and really see how I did it. It's not as complicated as it looks. That video was a fast paced, fun, energetic video, so it looked a lot more complicated, but actually setting up the store is quite straightforward, unless you're going to be doing some custom coding, custom themes, custom plugins. But if you're just going for the bog standard Shopify store, it's very simple. The first thing you have to do is pick a name and make sure the domain is available. So head over to GoDaddy and put in a few domains. So I checked out the Pug Store, which was way too expensive, as you can see. I then checked out a Pug's Life to see if that was available. Unfortunately, that wasn't available. So I settled on my final name, which was thepugscene.com. And you can see here, thepugscene.com is available. So simply add it to the cart go to checkout and you can decide whether or not you want a one year or a two year purchase of this domain. You can then decide if you want the .co.uk or the .com. So I just went for a one year with the .com. I always like doing one year because you never know what's gonna happen, especially with a new business. And then you just have to go through the checkout process. I have Honey in the corner, by the way. This video isn't sponsored by Honey, but I, I use them to uh, see if I can get any discounts. But anyways, £9.84 for this domain, nothing crazy. You'll either log in or you'll create a new account and then you'll go through and you'll pay. It's really straightforward. The next thing we have to do is head over to Shopify and pick a plan. So you can see they have three plans. They have the advanced Shopify plan, the Shopify plan, and the basic Shopify plan. So I always start with the basic plan because again, you never know what's gonna happen. And if you need to expand, then you'll expand later. But before picking a plan, we want to start a 14 day free trial so we can fully set up the website and make sure it's perfect and ready to go within those 14 days. So we don't actually start paying until we go live, which is simple. Just click start your trial, put your email address in, if you, you know, whichever one you wanna use, put a password in and then put your store name in. So you should have a store name because you've just bought the domain name. Sorry if a lot of this is blurred out, it's just passwords and stuff. But anyways, the store name we went with was the Pug Scene, okay? And it is very simple, we just click create your store. Once you've done that, you'll come across this kind of page here and then it will take you to a very simple, kind of like questionnaire in a way, like they'll ask you certain questions and you just have to go through this setup. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Again, these aren't crazy questions. It's very, very simple. In fact, I don't even think it makes a difference what you put in the answers. The next thing you want to do is put your address in. So I'm gonna skip this bit because you don't need to see the address and we're gonna go straight to the next page. And once you've done that, you'll get this loading screen and you'll land on this page on Shopify. And I know it might look overwhelming. There's a lot to see. You'll see the trials just started and there's just a lot going on here, but don't be overwhelmed. We're going to go through it in this video. The first thing we're going to do is connect a domain name. So you could either do it on the home page, or you can go to online store, click domains and then put your website in. Okay, and what you can do is you can connect manually, but obviously connect automatically, it's so much easier. They'll ask you to log in to GoDaddy where you bought your domain name, and it's just, it's, again, it's simple. All it will do is it will ask you to, once it's asked you to log in, it will ask you to connect the domain, it will find it, it will put the DNS records in, and literally success, it's, it's like that. You might have to wait 24 hours for the domain to fully connect and verify, but once that's done, your domain is all set up and your website is, well, I would say ready to go, but you're still in the trial, so it's not fully ready to go yet. Afterwards, it will look like this. 
you'll have the SSL pending. And again, it might just take 24 hours, as it says here, for changes to propagate. So it's very, very normal. Don't, don't be deterred if it doesn't happen immediately for you. The next thing we need to do is actually connect Printful. Now you can use any third party printing service or if your Shopify store is for drop shipping or it's for something completely different like an art shop, whatever, then you, might, you can skip the step. But if you're doing it for print on demand and you want to use Printful like I have, then this is how you connect it. Go over to Printful, scroll down all the way to the bottom and you'll see different websites they integrate with, okay? Right, you'll see what they do and then you can click Shopify. Right, so once we've clicked Shopify, it will take us to this page where we can click get the Printful app. And basically this is just a very quick way of connecting the app. It will then lead you over to Shopify and you can connect it all up. It will take you to this site where you can click add the app or add app and all it wants you to do is to take your domain name or the store URL and put it in th that little box and it will ask you to log in and it will take you to the final step of connecting the Printful app. All you have to do is click install app and then it will show up under apps on your Shopify website. So make sure to sign in obviously with your Printful account. If you don't have a Printful account, you're going to have to make one and then you just click connect store and there you go. You've now connected Printful to Shopify and you're basically 90% the way there selling t-shirts on Shopify. Now that it's all connected, there are some other plugins that you might want, like a review plugin or a cart abandonment plugin. So I can make an entire video on plugins. I didn't want this video to be an hour long of me talking about different plugins. So I'm going to leave plugins out, but I'm gonna mention one that you can get, and that's the Facebook Messenger bot. The reason why I mentioned getting that plugin is it just instills so much confidence in people if they can talk to you, if they can, Oh, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. You know, when someone goes to a page and they know that they can immediately ask a question to a live chat support, it just instills a lot of confidence in that company. So by installing the Facebook Messenger plugin, which is free, by the way, on your website, you will show up in the bottom right corner or the bottom left corner and people can click it to message you. So it's really cool. Now is the fun part, designing the look of the site. We're going to stick to the basic theme that it started with, debut, which is very fitting as it's your first theme and potentially your first store. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on customize. So to get to this page, we need to go to online store, click themes and then click customize. And this will take us to the look of our whole site. And you can see you can change things, you can add pictures, you can, there's so many things you can do. You can remove things over here. You can add a header, a logo. There's a lot you can do here. And what I'm going to say is rather than go through this setup with you, I'm just going to let you play with it. It's all very, very straightforward. You can see I found a random pug picture. I was able to edit it, put it in the middle, right? Or in this case, put it at the top so that the pug was shown in the picture. Then you can decide the width, you can decide the text, you can decide if you even want text, you can add a button. It's all very straightforward. And what I would recommend is for you just to play around with it and kind of just mess with it a bit, basically. Just have a bit of fun with it. There's no wrong way or right way of doing it. Make it look how you want it to look. Now I wanted to create a custom banner, so I found that the size was 1,200 pixel by 2,000 pixel. And then I went into Photoshop and I made myself a custom banner. I made sure that the width was full width and then it did cut it off a tiny bit, which is really annoying, but you know what? I was absolutely fine with it. It wasn't the end of the world. The next thing I had to do was add a featured collection. So I made a few different collection names. So I did Pugs at the Movies, I did Pugs on Holiday, I did Gaming Pugs, and then you can select the collection. So I haven't actually made the collection yet, so I can't select it. We're going to be making that next. But what you can do is you can drag all of these different areas around. So if you want Pugs at the Movies to show up at the bottom, you can do that. If you want Testimonial to show up at the top, you can do that. It's just a simple drag and drop. And what you can do is you can also add or remove certain things. So here we can see we're adding another featured collection section really simply, just like that. So I'm going to let you mess around with your Shopify store. Have fun with it. Don't get stressed. And it doesn't matter how long it takes. You've got plenty of time. So this is what my website looks like now. I've done pretty much everything. There's still a few things I haven't done and this website really isn't finished, which is why the part two of the series isn't yet done. 
But now let's discuss adding new pages, which is again something which is quite easy to do. Go into online store, click pages, and you want to click add new page. So add page over here. So you can see I've already added an about us and a contact us. I still haven't finished the about us page. I don't know why, but I'm being really lazy and I, for some reason, I'm not updating it. But you want to click add page. Once you click add page, you can title it whatever you want. So let's do this is a test for YouTube. Okay, and then we can click save, right, then this page will be added. If we go back, we can see this is a test for YouTube. So that is how you add a page. And you can add information on the page over here. Now, if you're doing a contact us page, you can use the template page dot contact. And that will make your page look like a contact page. So let me show you what that looks like contact us page over here, you can see it's got this form where if someone fills it in, you'll automatically get an email. So going back. Now, once we've made a page, we need to sort out the navigation. So the navigation is the thing at the top. Okay, it's this. Sorry if I'm being really silly here. But yeah, this is the navigation. Okay, so let's go over to navigation. And you've got menus. So we want to select the main menu. And what you want to do here is you want to just kind of mess around with it. So you can see I've already made mine. But what you can do is you can add a menu item, you can delete, you can drag up and down depending on where you want it to be. I think I should just delete the about us but no, I'm going to get to it eventually. Right, so let's click add a menu item, we can search so we can either add collections. And this is what I've done. I added collections as their own separate menu items. But you can also add a blog post, you can add policies, you can add pages. So I can add this is a test for YouTube. And I'm going to title this page YouTube video because I want it to be a bit prettier than this is a test for YouTube. So once we click add, we can click save menu. Then let's go and have a look. So what's going to happen is it will show up at the end. There we go YouTube video. Now it's going to be empty because there is nothing on this page. But you see that is how you do it. So let's delete this for the moment because I don't want that showing up on the website. But that is how you will edit and kind of change up your main menu. Now we're going to add products. This is exciting. Now bear in mind we are adding Printful products because that's who we partnered with. If you're not partnered with Printful, that's absolutely fine. You can add products for whatever it is you're doing. So you want to go over to the apps section and this is where all your apps will show. You want to click Printful. And once you've clicked Printful, you want to click add a product and it kind of redirects you to the Printful site on here. So you're on the Printful site on Shopify. It's quite interesting. But you want to click products. Once you click products, you want to click add a product. So you can see I've got one cell, which was that cell that you saw yesterday, I still haven't started advertising, I need to start advertising, I have been so distracted with other work, but I want to start advertising so I can bring you part two of the video. But anyways, more on that later, we're going to go to products and then click add a product. And again, it's this is all very straightforward, you'll just go through so men's clothing, let's say all shirts, let's say you're going to add a t shirt, then you're going to either drag in or click here to either drag in your design or, or just click here and upload it. Then you want to select the t shirt colors, all those kind of things. So let's just add in something random. Let's add in this mug. Okay, we then want to you know, we can move it around, we can do whatever we want with it. So this was a Vexels picture, which I edited and made it kind of slightly different because I didn't want to take Vexels picture um, face value for what it was. So I kind of made it a bit different. But anyways, once you've done that, it immediately takes you to the design. So you can go back to product, you can select different colors to see if it looks good on, then you can click proceed to media. Once you've done that, you, you select where it is where it shows up on the t shirt, different mock ups over here, then you can click uh, proceed to details. This is where you'll put the title, the description, all of those things in. And finally, um, you can select a proceed to pricing. And this is where you can either add a 10 um, percentage, you can add a price, how much you want to charge again, do whatever you feel is right. I, I charge whatever I charge, I'm sure you can charge whatever you want to charge and then click submit to store. So I'm not going to actually submit this product. But that is what you would do to add a new product. Finally, let's add billing. So we need to make sure people are able to pay. So we want to go into settings, we want to go into payments. 
And now you can see we can go in and again, if anything is blurred out, it's just because I don't want to share all my information, but you can, you can uh, add Shopify payments, which I've already done really straightforward. You can add PayPal payments, which you can do as well. You just have to click here. Well, for me, it says deactivate, but for you, it will say activate PayPal. And then you can also do Amazon pay or third party providers. So paying is again, straightforward, just follow the steps on the screen and you'll see it's quite easy. And make sure you've logged into Printful and you've also done your billing in Printful so that when someone does an order, you can automatically get billed in Printful as well. So you need the payment methods to be on there just like they are on Shopify. And now you're good to go. See, it's really not that complicated setting up a Shopify store. Now I know, I know this was a very simple video. It was a simple setup. I could probably go into a lot more detail, make this video two hours long, show you so much more information, maybe show you a bit of coding, show you the, the plugins in detail, show you discounts, marketing, analytics, all these kind of things. But for today's video, I literally just wanted to show you a very, very basic setup of a Shopify store. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as you can probably tell from my website, there is still a lot more work to be done, which is why part two isn't yet finished and it's super annoying because I want to get it out to you and hopefully I'll get it out to you as soon as possible. But you know, I think, I think I might just start with completing the about me page because I don't know why I haven't done that yet. Either way, my site is a working progress. It's not a sprint. It's very much a marathon, especially seeing as I'm doing all these other businesses at the same time. But I hope you enjoy this follow along step by step kind of video. Let me know in the comments down below if it helps. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.